The views and opinions expressed on In Touch are those of the guests and do not necessarily reflect the official party or position of Backyard Broadcasting. Any content provided by our guests are of their opinion and they are not intended to malign a religion, ethnic group, club, organization, company, individual, or anyone or anything. Good morning and welcome to In Touch, a Sunday morning public affairs program dedicated to the health and welfare of the Susquehanna Valley residents. I'm your host, Joey Michaels. Join us at this time as we interview the difference makers in our community who want to make the Susquehanna Valley a better place. This morning, we're talking with Bulldog. He's president of the Penitent Souls Motorcycle Club. We're talking about the club, their foundation, and the upcoming August 14th motorcycle and Jeep ride and show. Let's turn to our interview with Bulldog on In Touch, a locally produced service of Backyard Broadcasting. Hi, Joey. Good morning. We help children in need in our local area. We help an average of 30 to 46 children every year. Everything from back braces to cancer patients to children that need us in every aspect in every way. So you guys are are pretty accessible. You are, uh, I just want to verify, you you are the president of the organization. Yes, I am. How long have have you guys been around? We've been around, this is our 10th year helping children. Uh, It's been remarkable from the things we started off with. We never thought we would take off the way we have but uh, after 10 years like I said 30 to 46 children and you are right here in our area here in the Susquehanna Valley yes ma'am where where do you reach to I mean as I mean as if somebody needs you uh, do you have you know limits or are you right here in the central Susquehanna Valley we're more or less in the central location okay and so you have a lot of things going on for you the past 10 years wow that's a long time it's been great. We've helped 23 children one year over at Geisinger Hospital. We help children in just about every town, I believe, in this 100-mile radius. Um, Bulldog, what, what do you guys do? I mean, you guys are from all sorts of walks of life. Yes, we carry every occupation I think probably there is. Uh, there's roughly 15 to 20 of us, and uh, we just come from every aspect of life. Now, when, when somebody says you're a motorcycle club, and when I first when I first learned of motorcycle clubs, I was a little nervous um, because I'll be honest with you that uh, you 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 see TV, you see TV all the time. You guys are a different breed. You are out there and you're just in the public and you're there to help people on a regular basis. It's not just um, waiting for that phone call. You are ahead of the game and you have a lot of people that are very thankful for everything you've done. I mean, the the kiddos that get to stand outside and watch the motorcycles go by uh, to the the families that uh, are devastated, that just kind of don't know where else to go. Yes, there's so many people who get the wrong concept of motorcycles and uh, the people who ride them. If they only knew us, they would understand that what we do helping children is uh, touches our hearts. And you may know someone we've uh, helped in the past. So it's, uh, it's a good thing we do. Oh, fantastic. Now, I, I understand that you have a Facebook page. Yes, we do. It's Penance Souls Facebook page. You just Punch that in and it'll come right up. Well, and once you get there, you have uh, contact information. So if somebody needs your help, somebody says, you know, we've really got ourselves into a pickle or somebody says, um, you know, we've just had something devastating happen. And, uh, you know, maybe a single mom or maybe somebody that's uh, the, the kiddos are in the hospital. How can they get a hold of you best? Is that is, is your contact information there? Yes. Yeah, so the contact information is on uh, Facebook page. Uh, if you want to say send monetary donations, you, you can send it to 16208 State Route 405, Watson Town, PA 17777. Now, you uh, you collect money in a variety of ways, and I understand that you've got a big event coming up. Uh, tell me a little bit about these events and, and how long you've been doing them. We've, we've been doing it for 10 years now. We've started uh, at a different location when we first started and we grew out of it way above our fire code so we had to move on to other places and uh, Muncie Legion has been so good to us as far as using their outdoors pavilion Uh, this year we're having food a band cornhole tournament starts at two o'clock live auction we're having a motorcycle ride jeep ride motorcycles and jeeps are involved and uh, we're going for about a 90 mile round trip so it should be a good time. Uh, like I said, all you, all you can eat food and a band, cornhole tournament, and a live auction. And all this is for $15. 
I don't think you can go anywhere for $15 and get all that. What day is this? It is Saturday, August 14th. Registration for Jeeps and bikes are from 8.30 to 10.30, and the ride takes off at 10.30 sharp. We'll be making a 45-mile ride to a location, then we'll be coming back 45 miles a different route, and we'll come back to Muncie Legion to where we'll partake in the food and ban cornhole tournament and the auction. So now if uh, I understand that everyone's welcome, the entire public. Yes, ma'am. It's uh, open to the public at one o'clock. So if you don't have a motorcycle or a Jeep, come out and enjoy the festivities. I, yeah, I think that uh, what what is going to be huge is you've got entertainment and you've got incredible food. And I think that the the part of the thing that folks need to remember is this is all pointed at one single direction, at getting money for the kiddos, for the foundation that's uh, sponsoring uh, kids for no matter what. I mean, it's one of those things where it touches all of us. I mean, the kids are our, our future. And, uh, you know, when you look at them and you think of the stories, everybody's got a different story. And you guys are there to help make all of that just a little bit better. I mean, even even if it's, you know, the kiddos can't see it and can't understand it, mom definitely understands, you know, she needs help with bills or, or maybe getting the kiddos something for Christmas because she just can't. Or even better yet, the kiddos who've helped, you know, with wheelchairs and things like that. If you are a rider, like say I'm a rider, but I'm not affiliated with anybody, can I still bring my bike out? I mean, I'm a little intimidated by, you know, the club. Most definitely. Uh, independent riders are, are welcome. We'll have hundreds of them we have a normal of 300 bikes on a normal jeeps this year it's our second year having jeeps so i'm hoping we had uh, all year to get as many as we can to come and support children so if you have a motorcycle or a jeep or if you're not affiliated with a club or you are please uh, come give us a couple hours of your time and all the money goes to children in need we're nonprofit and we're incorporated so all the money we raise, all of it goes to children in need in our local area. Now you're saying Jeeps. What kind of Jeep? Are you just are you limited to any kind of specific Jeep or? Any kind of Jeep you have. If it says Jeep on it, bring it. Very nice. Because I, I didn't know if it was just uh, Wranglers or, uh, you know, that kind of 4 by 4s or. We're having a Jeep show and a motorcycle show. People can enter their vehicles and motorcycle in the show to win a plaque. Possibly if judges pick you, then you walk away with a plaque. You can register for the, the show from 8.30 till probably 2 o'clock till we start that show. Can you go enjoy the entertainment and just not go on the ride? Yes, you can. Come up at 1 o'clock. It opens to the public and it's when the music starts. And uh, you mentioned a live auction. A live auction. We're probably going to start that around 2 o'clock. We have a sort of everything. All that money uh, we raise goes to children. It's businesses and people making things for us. It all goes to the children. When it comes to your club, is there anything that, that people can do, you know, just learning about, about the club? And, and they say, I have a motorcycle. What, what can I do? Can I be part of anything like this? Come to our benefit. See what we do. Um, it's $15 all you can eat, all you can drink, and a band. All the money goes to children in need. And if you'd like to be part of something that we do, we can talk then or I can give you my information and then we can, we can talk later. You, there's different organizations that are going to be at the ride, and it's not just organizations. It's single riders. So you, you get up there, and, and what you can do is you can network, and you can get to know these other people. And that in itself is just an amazing thing. You learn how to do different things with the motorcycles. You learn how to make them better. You learn safety. And if you, you're a new rider especially, you know, this kind of thing, networking is just an awesome, awesome way to get out there. And as far as the, the band, band and the DJ, or just? It's a band. Oh, okay. Uh, be a band there. And how long? Does it, does it last? It will last till about six o'clock. Oh, okay. We'll be raffling off our three motorcycles, pit bikes. Is a fifty cc, two of those, and a one ten cc. So we'll be auctioning those off. Also, now you mentioned the bike. Are you selling those tickets for that, or how does that work? Yes, we are. We have uh, tickets for ten dollars piece, and that's your chance at a win at one of the three motorcycles. If someone's listening and they don't know any members, how can they get their tickets or can they get the tickets on the day of the ride? Is that possible? Yes, you can get, uh, we'll have tickets left, come there and just uh, there'll be a stand and you just get one then. Okay, fantastic. And everything will be drawn then that day? Yes. Okay, cool. And you say there's three of them? Yes, there is. 250 cc's and a 110. Okay, so they're smaller bikes then. Yes, they're just for, for little ones. For the kiddos. Oh, okay. Well, tell me a little bit about your foundation. We've been we've been uh, going at it for 10 years. Like I said, this year is our 10-year anniversary. 
We help an average of 30, 40 sick kids. Um, we help everything from back braces to Geisinger Hospital. Uh, there's 23 children over there that day. We spent thousands of dollars at the hospital. We even looked after the nurses and doctors for coffee and donuts for them. They needed extra coup beds, and we bought five more coup beds because they only had two for three floors. Everything from we paid off vehicles for a mother with a child who had third degree cancer in her kidney. She was having a hard time. Multiple stories I could tell you for hours over 10 years. We have a scrapbook we kind of will put out and you can kind of go through that. And if one of us is there, we can explain a little bit of each child of the ones we've helped in the past. A lot of stuff we do, is we go, it goes under the radar where we don't talk about it. We don't, we don't put ourselves out there on a the newspaper. Or we don't put it on the radio, et cetera, what we do. You might catch it on Facebook now and then. We put stuff like that on there. A lot of things we do is behind the scenes. To us, it's about helping children. And that's what we aim for. And that's that's what I want people to understand right now. You guys are a humble bunch and you, you do it because you care and you do it because you can, not because you want the notoriety. And that's what I respect about this is because you are here now because we're promoting something so that you can not only get folks to feel involved, but you can get them involved. I mean, literally, come on out. You know, be part of an activity and then donate to an organization that makes it possible to help the children. So, I mean, you're not just doing it for yourself. You're doing it for the entire community. And I think that is that is noble. And I think that is pretty awesome, to be honest with you, because it gives them an opportunity to say, yeah, I want to I want to help. And as long as they know where you're at and what's going on now, the Muncie Legion, where is that at? Muncie Legion is behind the Lycoming Mall. It's right off 80. If you know where Best Line is or Leisure Lumber, it sits behind that. The Muncie Legion Post 268 is at 515 Legion Road, Muncie, PA. 17756 is the uh, location of that. How did you guys get started? It was just the thing that uh, I started in 2011. I I love helping kids. Kids are dear to me and uh, they're innocent and you just want to help them. And uh, every aspect, this this special needs bus came in. I walked over and I said to the to the adults there, I said, "Is there any?" I said, "Hi, my name is Bulldog. I'm with Penn and Souls uh, Mercy Club." I said, "Is there a child here I can help?" And they just kind of looked at me like I was I was a Martian or had three heads. And I said to them, uh, "Well, here's my card. Give me a call." Well, a week later, I get a phone call, and it was one of the the one in charge there that day. And she said, were you serious about this? And I said, yes, yes, ma'am, I was. I said, what do you need? She goes, well, do you remember the little boy was next to me? And I said, I recall. I said, uh, go ahead and help me out. And she said, well, he has, and if she went through multiple things, was wrong with him, etc. And he couldn't communicate. So I said, what do you think he needs? And she told me the name of it. And basically it's a, a huge laptop. Uh, huge and it had squares on it and the young boy would learn to push the squares and would talk for him so she's like well i need this amount of money for the for the machine i said okay and i said why don't where you work at the school you belong for special needs why don't they purchase it and she said well it's not in the budget i said okay so we went ahead pencils went ahead and, and bought the machine and then she said, well, now I need the software. So we went ahead and gave her money for bought the software. So time goes by, I get updates on he was doing better and learning, etc. Well, the day of the event, in front of at least 500 people, this gentleman walked up to me with the little boy in the, in the wheelchair with the laptop and said, he wants to say something. I said, okay, great. So in front of 500 people, he said, holding the mic underneath the speaker. So I did. And the little boy pushed a button and then said, I want to give the bill. I want to, I want to thank, I want to thank everyone here. And then he, then he pushed another button and said, forgive me the ability to speak. Wow. And then he said, I love, and he pushed another button and it said, the penitent souls. Oh, wow. So for the first time in 12 years of his life, he told his parents he was hungry. He told his parents that he wanted to play. There's no words. No amount of money. There's no words. Would, 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 you know, wow. You couldn't beat that. You've just given a lot of kids a second chance. A second chance at not only medical, but a second chance of being kids. Right. You know, and I think that's, that's, that's huge. 
You know, not everybody gets a chance to do that. Right. And now they kind of do. Yeah. Now they kind of get at least, uh, you know, you're you're not in the physical part of doing it, but by giving to you, by coming to this event, eating some good food, watching some motorcycles, listening to some music, you are are making this a possibility. I just think the way the world is today, uh, the children are being uh, not in the spotlight. So I think this year is even more of a reason why to come out and help us support children. When I think the children have been pushed aside and we're not concentrating on them. So that's why we want to concentrate this year on children and come out and uh, support us. Big thanks to Bulldog. He's president of the Penitent Souls Motorcycle Club. He brought us amazing information on his club, their foundation, and the upcoming August 14th motorcycle and Jeep ride and show. Hope to see you there. Thanks for listening to In Touch, a locally produced service of Backyard Broadcasting. The views and opinions expressed on In Touch are those of the guests and do not necessarily reflect the official party or position of Backyard Broadcasting. Any content provided by our guests are of their opinion and they are not intended to malign a religion, ethnic group, club, organization, company, individual, or anyone or anything.